everyone. I'm Ellie Brown, director of the San Diego Food System Alliance. So, so we have a different lens on this topic. We're an advocacy group, so we're really here to question the status quo and push the envelope. So I like to set the record straight that we really don't need GMOs to feed the world. We just need to do this in a better way. So the FSA vision, the San Diego Food System Alliance vision, I'll give you one scenario of our ideal community food system. Imagine this somewhat imperfect organic apple sustainably produced at an orchard in Julian, processed by a local food maker into wholesome goodness applesauce, sold at a local bodega corner store where people on food stamps, farm laborers can easily purchase it. And so that's farm to fork, but really redefining farm to fork so that everybody has access to healthy, affordable, sustainable food. But we don't stop there. The apple core, it goes back into the farm to soil by composting or to animal feed. So it's farm to fork back into the farm. So really closing the loop on the whole system because as Chuck said, there is no such thing as waste when it comes to food. And we really need to raise the value of food and love food. So that's what we believe in. So the Alliance is a coalition of nonprofits, government staff, as well as community advocates organized to change, make changes in the food system so that we're really considering it as a cycle from production of food, consumption, all the way to the disposal of food. And it's really important that we bring multi-sector stakeholders together to create a vision for how we want to change the food system because we want consensus, we want buy-in, and coordination and collaboration is the only way to get this done. And we also bring these stakeholders together to create thorough recommendations for how we want to improve the food system because if we don't think about it holistically, what gets prioritized is often the bottom line and we don't consider San Diegans, we don't consider our environment. And I'm sure many of you are environmentalists in the room, so you're all with me here. So food waste is one aspect that we're looking at, but we are system changers in the community food system. We're looking at various different leverage points to change our community food system from food waste to urban agriculture, creating a new pipeline of food producers, farmers, fishermen, as well as providing opportunities for healthy food access in our lower, lower income communities. But food waste, it's so important because it touches everything. It touches our environment, it touches people, it touches our local economy. 40% of food is lost, somewhere between farm to fork. That is a huge economic loss and a huge loss for resources. That equates to half a million ton of food waste in San Diego County, which is equivalent in terms of greenhouse gas emissions to 300,000 cars taken off the road annually. This is annually. But on the flip side, one out of seven people in San Diego County don't have enough good food to eat. So our estimates uh, calculate that around 10% of the good food currently going into landfill is enough to meet the hunger gap in San Diego County. And this is an opportune moment for action to address food waste. National goals are being defined, the media is paying attention, mainstream media is paying attention. If you've seen John Oliver episode on this, please watch it because it's an excellent coverage. State policies are being defined around organic man uh, recycling mandates like AB 1826, where local governments really need to create innovative solutions to address this in a better way. Healthy soil uh, is being paid more and more attention because of great messaging by Kiss the Ground, and I'm, I'm excited to see Kala's presentation, as well as the governor's Healthy Soils Initiative. So, so there's more clear linkages between building soil fertility and carbon sequestration. And so there are tremendous, tremendous environmental benefits in doing this the right way. And there's also local recognition as well. P the public is paying more and more attention to this in San Diego County. The San Diego Food System Alliance had its first conference, the Food Waste Solution Summit, last October. Uh, we put it together in a month, and we got tremendous media coverage on this topic. People really love talking about this. But what's clear is that we need local solutions. We can't rely on the state to tell us what to do. We really need to rally nonprofits, governments, community advocates, and create policy changes to do this the right way. I know many of you are familiar with the EPA hierarchy, but I want to suggest a better hierarchy for 
local solutions. So the unwasted food hierarchy. It really began to preventing food waste to begin with and food for people, animals, and soil. And with composting, I want to suggest that the pile should be closer to where we are. We don't want a huge centralized facility to handle composting because you know what? We need to normalize this. Everybody should be composting and it really needs to be normalized. Look at the UK and London. Everybody has a compost pile in their backyard. This is what nature intended us to do. So we need technology to facilitate this pyramid. We need distribution from one place to the other to facilitate, just as Jessica had been describing in her idea around the organics exchange. So this does require a lot more coordination than building out a huge infrastructure facility like an anaerobic digestion facility. It does require more community coordination, but it's the less costly approach and it's the most sustainable approach. So we really need to be looking at this. Food System Alliance has started to look at this issue. We formed a working group last September, right before our Food Waste Solution Summit, but we currently have 50 members in our working group, um, and they are representatives from various different sectors, from the food insecurity side, the food banks, the meal pantries, as well as government agencies from um, Health and Human Service, Ag Weights and Measures, and Environmental Services, and also educators and advocates that really want to create system change. But we also have a lot of innovators, leaders with innovative ideas around using this wasted food to create value like Chuck, like Jessica, like Nita. And we have a lot of young people approaching us every day. Hey, how can we solve this problem? How can we get involved? We see so much food waste happening and we see so much hunger in San Diego County. How can we get involved? So we need to nurture these types of amazing local innovations and provide them with resources because you know what? We all need resources to do this. The Food System Alliance is trying to implement a three-legged stool when we talk about system change. And it, this really applies in the context of food waste here in San Diego County in order to be able to apply this unwasted food approach. So with culture change, we need awareness and mindset change and encouraging innovations to do this, the unwasted food approach locally. Policy changes, we need supportive land use policies and changes to zoning so that composting is not seen as an industrial activity and that it's normalized. We need ordinances to allow for more flexibility and food recovery so operations like Jessica's and food recovery groups can operate in conjunction to the exclusive waste hauler contracts. We need easing of environmental health regulations. We need resources to plan, coordinate, and catalyze these programs. Infrastructure, we need leaders and innovators with great ideas. We need to support these great ideas with resources, particularly for nonprofit groups. We need to support them with capacity building around distribution and storage of food so that they can bring it to the people in need. So it's time for action. If I've converted you to be an unwasted food advocate, there are various different ways to get involved. We're having our second uh, Food Waste Solution Summit, and I've just had a brainstorm session with Chuck, and we're going to rebrand this because we want to retire the word waste from the dictionary when it comes to food. So we're calling this an Unwasted Food Solution Summit, and we're going to be doing this September 27th. September is the Hunger Action Month. Please save the date, mark your calendars, and then also, if you're really interested in rolling up your sleeves and creating systemic changes, we have our food recovery working group, and we have several sub-work groups led by leaders here um, that are in the room. So we have policy, farmer's market recovery, um, some data analysis being done, and food rescue uh, technology and GIS mapping as well. I don't know if we have any policymakers, but we really need you to be champions with us in this unwasted food effort. So please contact me if you're here. Lastly, if you're just in the mood to enjoy fine dining and eat some good unwasted food, um, we're launching a pop-up dinner series called Resource. We're partnering with celebrity chefs around town 
that's really interested in utilizing food that would otherwise go to waste, food scraps like potato peels and various other things and making them into amazing dishes. Um, and our first dinner is on April 6th at the Red Door. And it, it coincides with an uh, industry conference happening in town called BioCycle. It's an organics recycling conference happening in town in Mission Valley. But thank you. I really appreciate your time. This is a collaborative effort. This, this organization is not just me. So I wanted everybody who's part of the Food Recovery Working Group to stand up and raise your hands. Come on, guys. <laughs> so. If you get a chance, please mingle with them afterwards and, and ask them what they're working on. These really are the champions in their respective areas and, and ask them about our uh, collective effort as well. Thank you.